Hi, I'm Brandy. Thanks for finding my channel. This is Cake Class with Brandy Cakes. And today we are making a present cake, a gift, a gift cake. I'm starting with a sheet cake and I'm going to turn it into a present. In this short clip, I'm going to show you how to ice a square cake because there's some tricks they make it different than a round cake. So, thanks for watching, enjoy the show. All right, so here I just have a regular frozen sheet cake. This I got at Sam's Club. I bought a case of them, there were five. I'm down to one left after this one. I'm determining the size of the cake by the purposes that I need it for. So for this, I need it to be uh, fit on this cake board, 10 inch cake board. I would usually use this for an eight inch round or a six inch round. Um, today I'm using it for a square cake because I need it to fit in my cake carrier to take it to cake class. So I need this cake to be this big. Of course you could measure it of course, of course. If I had a yardstick real handy, like I did at the bakery, I would go ahead and do that, but I'm just going to eyeball it, and then, oh, I can see that that is crooked. That's okay, and then half of that. Okay, so this is how big my present's gonna be. All right, this part's gonna get a little bit messy, but I want these to line up. This is not exactly flat on top, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this to make it nice and flat. Just make sure that your knife is flat and even and your cake will be too. This one is more flat than the other one, but that's okay. I want to cut it off the board because I don't want to make a big mess on the board, but I want these two to line up. So I'm going to go ahead and trim the sides. You could do this. You could do this after you fill it or you could do it before. That is a better shape for me. These might not line up, so I want to I want to keep an eye on where I'm putting this on here. Snack cake, all right, ready to fill it. I'm gonna put a dot of buttercream to keep this from moving around. Uh oh, my cakes are a little bit stuck together. That's okay. All right. I'm not gonna turn this while I'm filling it because I need it to stay where it is. Oh, my icing is cold. This is also Sam's Club icing. I'm these aren't client cakes, these are practice cakes I'm ma making. So I'm just focusing on decorating, not on baking. Um, so that's why it made it easier to use Sam's stuff. Take a big blob and I'm gonna put it on the side here. You want to make sure that there's always a big pile of icing between your spatula and your cake. That did not make it all the way to the bottom. It's gonna be messy at first. 
The first go around is really just to get the icing onto the cake. Just getting that icing onto the cake and a lot of it. It's easier to take icing off than to add more. All right, even it out a little bit. Figure out where the actual cake is. Um, the corners usually always need built up more, so go ahead and add some extra icing in the corners there to work with. Okay, and then I can tell that my cake is not flat, so I'm adding some icing over here. Now I'm going to switch to a smaller one. I switched to a smaller spatula just because it's easier to handle. I'm not worrying about the corners yet, but I am making sure that they have enough icing for when I come back to the corners. And you can see when I'm decorating, I'm using that part of the spatula is the is where the work is happening. If that makes sense. Big seat building up the corner onto our third side. I'm making sure that there is enough icing from the in the bottom and at the top. You are really trying to keep your spatula straight up and down. Okay, this is looking good on the sides. I'm going to go ahead and work on the top. There's air bubbles here, so I'm working them out. Really just by pressing down. Just working from the center out. I'm gonna to switch to the larger to go all the way over. And this way. Even, even, even. All right, now I have a lot of overhang here. I'm going to whisk that away. Um, make sure that my spatula is lined up with the straightness that I already did. Okay, so we are taking care of the overhang. Okay, so this one's corner is ready to be done. Upward stroking motion. Pull over that overhang. Alright, that looks good. This corner is a little lower, but I'll get back to that. We'll see what happens. Maybe add some more and build that up some. Oh, take care of that overhang. And then pull it down. Every time I go up the screen over here, I'm scraping the spatula. I was smoothing out an air bubble on the side there.
like this to be flat on top and it doesn't seem like that is going to happen right now. The icing is starting to get sticky. I'm gonna have to start stopping messing with it pretty soon. So let me figure out where. And now later, I'm going to show you how I covered this with fondant and turn it into a present. want it to be as smooth as possible because fondant shows everything. But it'll also help to smooth out some things. Okay, you could, I don't know if you can see this, but we ended up with a little gap in there. Let's just go ahead and fill that in. Bring it in to flatten it. I see that this is coming in some. I'm gonna see if I can even that part out. Take some off of that and add it to that side. Okay. I am cool with this. It's not an exact square. Um, and I'm okay with that. Like, <laughs> this isn't, you know, a competition or anything. So, here we go. Cleaned up the board some. I'm ready to put this back in the fridge and then I'll be back. 